welcome to Mega Man Maker Monday, where I play Mega Man Maker on a Monday. And this week, I've got a request from Marco Villum, who asked for a couple of levels. Um, and I'm going to start with the first one, 516050. The only thing I know about it is that it's uh, supposed to be a normal difficulty level. So we'll see what it has. tell you what has a lot of likes versus the low number of dislikes 310 plays uh, 135 likes to three dislikes tickets please is the name of the stage which you I'm sure you know you saw already by the title of the video you know it's like uh you know it but I don't until I mean I do know it because I've already recorded this by the time you're seeing it, but you're knowing it before I do in terms of the start of the video time. Uh, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead because what I'm saying makes no sense. Let's see, do I start off with all the weapons? I do. And Metal Blade is one of them, and uh, this guy is up in the... Uh... Wow, he did the... Uh, he. That well, was a he. It is a... Uh... Do I have, like, Hornet Chaser or anything that I can use to grab? I do not. You know what? It's worth it. It's worth it even if I die, which I did. Because I will have this E-Tank when I resurface. The only time that's, you know... Yeah, I do have it. So the only time that that's not worth it is if it's a, uh... If it's a Wily Challenge... And even then, it might be worth it. Yeah, he takes actually takes more damage from the Mega Buster or the you know regular arm cannon than the Metal Blade. I wonder what went into. You know, deciding what all these robots' weaknesses were to other like weapons that were not part of the um uh, of this of, 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 from the same game so you know you've got enemies from Mega Man 3 or 6 that and using a weapon from 2 what determines their uh you know their 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 weak weapon weakness and I always kind of, I often kind of thought about and wondered whether or not it would be worth, whether whether it even be a good idea or not, to allow the creators to change that up. Because then, one thing that go that, that that goes against it, and one thing that goes against this is I can't fucking move any of this. Maybe I gotta I gotta get something. Maybe I gotta. I gotta pick up an adapter. I didn't, I don't remember what all the weapons list was, uh, what the hell happened there? I don't know what the hell I'm hitting, but I got another E-Tank, so whatever. Because then you're kind of, you know, like, one thing that you can't do is, you know, memorize, uh, weapon weaknesses from regular whole home enemies because it would always be the same no matter what level you're playing oh I wouldn't say it's easy it would it would be because there's so many freaking enemies unless you dive into the creation of this game every day and it's all you do you're not gonna remember all that shit So tickets, please. This is a obviously it's a train stage. And I'm on the train, so I got my ticket. Uh, or I'm a stowaway, you know, I don't know. Mega Man. He, he's I wouldn't put it I wouldn't say I would have put it past him. I wouldn't expect him to do something like uh 
commandeer a train, but he is kind of law enforcement, like his, his own, he's a vigilante of sorts, a robot police, uh, unofficially, so... But, you know, it's, I don't, I wouldn't say vigilante of sorts, the, the world accepts the hell out of him, he's not... He's not really, like, uh, considered a lone wolf vigilante in the, in the sense that, you know, various other heroes uh, of their lore would consider them. Like a Batman or Ninja Turtles or something, you know? Depending, of course, on the... which canon you're talking about. But I'm pretty sure that in every aspect, every, every Mega Man universe that exists... I don't think he's ever looked at in, uh... Looked at in the status of a vigilante. Oh, come on, you little fuck. He's in a good spot. But good for him, not so much for me. Alright, I'm gonna, uh... Stop playing with some weapons. I do have, um... You know, uh, an M tank, so... No, that's not... Yeah, look at this, I have... Completely filled up everything. You know what? I don't really need that that much. We'll say that the game has been fairly generous with the checkpoints. I'm not gonna complain about. Alright, what am I gonna... Uh, the Power Stone is his real weakness. It seems to be okay. Uh, the Metal Blade, of course. Alright, might as well use one of the tanks. Let's use it or lose it, you know? Alright, so that was Tickets, Please, a, uh, you know, an alternate Charge Man stage. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. It was a good, standard, Mega Man type of level, you know? I, 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 I enjoy the gimmick levels, I enjoy those, you know, for change of pace type of levels. Uh, they're very creative, but I also, you know, you can't go wrong with a standard Mega Man type of level. It's... Ultimately, I prefer that like 75% of the time, it's like 60 to 75% of the time, something like that, um, I would say. So, that was it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you have requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. Link is in the description for the game itself, and uh, I'll see you next time.